Hello. I pray you are well. Do you have habits? Things that you do again and again? The accumulation of your habits becomes kind of your life, actually. And the scripture uses this language. Don't merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word who does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror, after looking at himself, goes away immediately, forgets what he looks like. Imagine for a moment, look at my face right now. Do you recognize I'm the same person? Of course you do. How much more so even would you forget your own face? You never would forget your own face. Because in fact, it's like someone who looks at his face in the mirror after looking goes away and immediately forgets. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they've heard, but doing it, he'll be blessed in what they do. You know, it's, it's very similar to the end of the Sermon on the Mount. You remember it. The words of Jesus Christ, where he says in, in Matthew chapter 7, these words. So it's the statement of the foolish and the wise builder. Verse 24 of chapter 7. Therefore, whoever hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it didn't fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears the words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who builds his house in the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. Now think about this issue. Think about the potential. The truth is, you're wise if you do, not just if you know. Sometimes we think belief is just, I knew about that, I know about that, I know about that. But you're wise if you build your house on the rock is when you act, when you do. You do the right thing. You do the thing that God has asked you to do. What's your habit? I pray you don't just know about praying, you pray. I pray you don't just know about the Word of God, you read the Word. I pray you don't just know about loving and honoring and building up and praying for other people, but you do it. It is the activity of our lives, the habit of our lives. The decision we make to say, I'm going to do that, and a habit over time is ultimately life. I invite you. We can either be frustrated about what we haven't done or start now and do the next right thing. I encourage you, build your house on the rock because clearly right now, the rains come down, the streams rose, and the winds have blown. We are in odd and difficult and hard times. But in the midst of it, may we not just be hearers of the word, but may we be doers of the word. And by so, give us a foundation for life and life eternal. God bless you. Let's pray. Lord God, move us to do the next right thing for others and for ourselves. May we know what you want and may we do it. We ask your grace and your power and your peace on our world. We pray for wisdom for ourselves. In Christ's name, amen. I want to offer to you something. We're beginning a, an activity called Be the Bridge in the middle of so many conversations that are happening now about differences in people. If you're interested in the ministry called Be The Bridge, email me, jshrank at cclphoenix.org, and I'll send you some material, and you can see what might be helpful to you. God bless you.